Okay. So. Um, I got a B here that I made a couple days ago, and we're going to take out the kick, at least, and probably the snare in this. Probably the pickup kick, because it's the most isolated. Yeah, yeah. So what you do is you take that, and you X out of this. So then I'll just drag that into block. Right, and then it shows up on, on your graph. So you can slide this little joint and see your wave, <clears throat> or you can see it on the spectrogram. I kind of like having a little bit of the wave just to see a little bit of what's going on there. All right, cool. So here, I'll take it out completely though so we can kind just kind of see the spectrogram. So yeah, it goes from low to high from bottom to top, right? So these little swooshes, like right here, those are kicks, because they're down in that range, right? So the goal is, is to basically scrub out all the shit around it and isolate this kick as much as possible. So I'll just start highlighting stuff and command Xing it. So I'm gonna go for this one right here though. Maybe a little bit too much. Okay, take out the shit at the beginning. Hit Command X a couple times to make it do that. Let me get this crap out the top. All right, so let me get this, some of this off the top end real quick. Right, so we got that. And you can kind of see that there's like these lines right here. That's like where other note, like keyboard notes or like some notes in the sample are happening. And we can see how the kick, the kick is obviously the loudest thing that's happening right here. So it's gonna show up the brightest. So basically I'm gonna take this chunk out too, right? that little motherfucker out of there okay now we're starting to work with something and then i'm gonna use the brush tool and just like start scrubbing shit out around the kick boom Zoom in a little bit. And so now I'm going to start taking out some top end too. I like taking out the top end. I can kind of see that the top end of the kick is maybe like around like 1K right here. But I'll, I'll start like, I'll take that much out first. And we'll see where we're at. Yeah, tight. This is going to be a good one. And really you can do this with any track. I, I've been just like picking random things and just like, I'm like, oh, can I get that kick out of there? Boom. So now we're starting to get somewhere. Let's brush out some more stuff. Oops. Cut off like. And this is also good because it kind of gives you like a visual representation of like what a sound is like over a period of time. It's like when you hear a kick, it's like there's a higher frequency and then it and then it shrinks back down, right? To get the like a, an attack is like a higher pitch of a frequency. Let's get that out. Yeah, now we're starting to work with something. Let's go. All right. Scrub out. And basically, you just you know you just keep trimming until you kind of get it like as close as you want it. I just want to see what that sounds like. I think that might be too much, but oh no. Cool, yeah, I'm gonna go with that. So you can highlight it, command, uh, shift command E to export that. I'll put it in my crop folder of this project. Let's call it, I already made one out of this, so I'll call it, let's call it West Kick. Oops. 
the other one's east kick. So this one will be west kick. All right, dope. So that's saved. Now I'm going to go back to Ableton. And then I'm going to fine tune it in Ableton. So I'll pull up the file, which shows up here. Bong, west kick. And you can hear that there's like a little bit of a bass note, but we're going to EQ it and stuff too. So. Let's do a quick EQ on it. I'll loop it up. Yeah, there's stuff in that range that needs to go. Love the attack though. Oh yeah, well, I'll use an auto filter too. All right, and now I'm gonna shape it with fade as well too. And this is generally the rack I've been using. I've been doing some different stuff just that every now and then, but generally EQ, a filter on for the kicks, DS10. Yeah, let's soft clip that for sure. Just a little bit, right? And then drum bus. So I'm hearing as the pitch of the kick. Um, um, so I'll try and match that. There you have it, and then I'll freeze and flatten this. And there it is. Nice little kick right there. And then I'll pop it up right here. Here's some of the other joints I made today. Yeah, that's tight. All right, and then you do that with like snares and shit too. Actually, let's do a snare, why not? Where's that snare at? Oh, I gotta re-input it, cause I fucked it up. Or I chopped out too much. All right, let's grab that again. Yeah, let's get that snare. Snares are a little bit harder because you have to you have to work out low end at that point. It's easy to take out high end to like isolate a kick because you can just wipe it out, but the the snare's a little bit more delicate. You can even see how fat that transient is there. Alright, let's start taking shit out around it. I can kind of see that ends like here probably is like where the end of the decay is on it. I'll take that much out. Take this out. And actually we'll just take all that out. Alright, let's see what we got. Alright, so I can already tell like low end at least from right here needs to go. Because there's too much bass. Or actually, the snare is going to be pretty easy. It's nice and well isolated.
And I, I would say that, you know, this isn't like using the RX isn't the end all be all. Like you, I, I think the, the Ableton or DAW processing afterwards is pretty important too for like EQ things. I mean, to me, that's already like pretty close. I mean, sometimes with these, I like leaving, like, like taking out the low end after the attack, just like give body to the attack and then the, the release is more high end and not as bulky on the bottom. Yeah, like that. You know, I'm just gonna go with, let's go with that. Let's do it. I'll just highlight that much of it. Cool. Shift Command E. We'll call this East Snare. Put it in here. Where is the pump? There she is. Oops. Bum, bum, bum. So I'll take out most of that frequency. Right off the bat. Let's just do that. Bum, bum. A little bit of um, take out to. Yep, there she is. And then see, because the shaping in your snare with the fades in Ableton is hella important. At least to me, it is to get to get the sound right. I mean, yeah. Usually the shape for me looks like that to get this kind of sounding snare. All right, and then for this, do DS10. Nice cracky snare. And then I think do RC with this. So this is another kind of thing I've been doing with this. I got again white noise to double it up with. I like this tube joint. A little bit of a splash like that. And then some reverb. Making this hella small and then just kind of like finding. I think the decay is up there. Right? And then Like two. Let's take it down a little bit. And then I'll even run a drum bus after that. Take it down just a little bit. Boom. That's pretty tight. All right, freeze. Let's go, come on. And flatten. I even shape this a little bit more too. Yeah, there we go. Boom, there it is. So the kick and snare we pulled. Yeah, I use those.